We're going to wrap up Chapter 12 and talk about exploring fair shares. And we're still working with fractions. We can separate a group of objects evenly into smaller groups. Everyone will get a fair share, the same amount. Two children want to share the cherries. and We can circle each child's fair share. Both children will get the same amount of cherries. We can count the cherries and give each child half. They'll each get half of the cherries. We count how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six cherries in all. And we give them each a fair share so they have the same amount. They each get three cherries. Circle each child's fair share. There's four toy cats and there's two children. How can we separate them so that they're in groups that each child will get a fair share? There's two children and there's one, two, three, four cats. We can separate them in half, can't we? Then one child will get two and another child will get two. They'll each get two cats. They'll each get a fair share. They have the same amount. There's three children and we have one, two, three, four, five, six toy trucks. We need to circle each child's fair share. So how many trucks will each child get so they each have the same amount and have a fair share? Can you see how we can separate them? We can give two and two and two. We've made three groups, one, two, three, and each of the children will get two toy trucks. Now we have two children and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fish. We need to circle each child's fair share. Can you see how we can separate these so the two children will each get a fair share? I can circle the top part, which is four, and then I can circle the bottom part which is four, couldn't I? We can give these four to one child and we can give these four to the other child. There's two children, we have two groups and their fair share is four each. Now there's three children and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine toy cars. We need to circle each child's fair share. Can you see how we can separate these so each of the three children gets a fair share? We can circle the top three, then the middle three, then the bottom three, and then we'll have three groups of three, wouldn't we? We can also circle these three for one child, the middle three for another child, and this last column for the last child. Either way will be correct. There's three children. We make three groups. There were nine toy cars. That means each of the children gets one third of the cars. It gets one group out of three groups. Now there's five children and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pumpkins. 
we need to circle each child's fair share. Can you see how we can separate these so each child gets a fair share? We can go like this, couldn't we? That's one, two, three, four, five. Whoops, he turned. So now we have five groups for the five children. They each get one group. They each get one-fifth of the pumpkins. They each get one group out of the five groups. See? Now there's four children, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fish. We need to circle each child's fair share. Can you see how we can separate them so each child gets a fair share? We can make groups like we did up here, can't we? We can go down like this and make four groups, one for each child. Oops. They turn on the magnet when my marker hits them, huh? Now we have four groups, one, two, three, four. We have four children, so they'll each get a group. They'll get each get one group of the four. They'll each get one-fourth. Now we have three children, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve apples. We need to circle each child's fair share and separate the twelve apples evenly so each of the children gets a fair share. Can you see how we can make groups so they'll each get a fair share? We can go like this. We can make one group, two groups, three groups. Each child will get a group. They'll get one of the three groups, they'll get one-third of the apples each. Now we have four children, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have the same number of apples that we had up here. That's the same amount. But instead of three children, now we have four children. Do you see how we can circle each child's fair share? Do you see? We can go like this and make four groups for the four children. See? Each of the children will get three apples. There's three apples in each group. There's four groups. Each of the children will get one of the four groups. They'll get one-fourth of the apples. Now we have four children, and we have four backpacks. Can you see how each child will get a fair share? They'll each get one won't they? There's four children. There's four backpacks. They'll each get one, and that will be fair shares. Circle yes or no. Can we make fair shares for two children? We have two chocolate chip cookies. Can we Separate these so that two children can get a fair share? Yes, they can each get one cookie, can't they? And that would be fair, wouldn't it? Can we make fair shares for three children? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven gems, and we have three children. Can we Separate these evenly so everyone gets a fair share? Hmm. If 
we give one child two and another child two and another child two, because there's three children, mm -hmm. there's going to be one left over. If we give it to somebody, then they have three and the other children have two. So no, those aren't fair shares. Mm -hmm. We can't make fair shares with seven gems for three children. Separate the gems into fair shares for two children. So here we've got some green gems, and we need to separate them for two children. We can go one for this child and one for that child. And we can go back and forth, one for that child, one for that child, until they're all gone. One for that child, one for that child, another one for that one, another one for that one, another one for that one, and another one for that one. Did we make fair shares? This group has one, two, three, four, five, and this group has one, two, three, four, five. So yes, we made fair shares. We just went back and forth. And they each get half of the gems. There were five plus five is 10. There were 10 gems, and we made two groups of five. What if one more child comes? Will we be able to make fair shares? Can we take these gems, these 10 gems, and make three groups so that three children can have a fair share? Let's try. I'm gonna take one gem and put it here. We're gonna take another gem and put it here. Okay, so now they each have one. That's fair, right? So now let's give them each another one, okay? Let me grab a few here. We'll give that one one, that one one, and that one one. So far it's fair, they each have two. Okay, let's do it again. Give that one one, give that one one, and give that one one. It's still fair, they each have three, but look what happens, we have one left over. There's one gem left over. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine gems, but there were 10 gems, so we have one left over. If we give the last gem to one of the children, they will not have fair shares. If we give this gem to that child, then they have four and they only have three. That's not fair. So we can't make three groups for 10 gems to be fair shares to each group, can we? All right. Lisa and Emma buy a pizza. They cut it into six equal pieces. Can they each have a fair share? So Lisa and Emma, that means there's two people, one, two. They buy a pizza and they cut it into six equal pieces. How many pieces can they each have so that it'll be fair shares? We can give one piece to Emma. We can give one piece to Lisa. We can give another piece to Emma and another piece to Lisa. We can give another piece to Emma and there's one left. We can give it to Lisa. They each got three pieces and they have fair shares, don't they? Now, what if Tim comes? Now there's Lisa, Emma, and Tim. There's Lisa, Emma, and Tim. There's three people. Will they be able to make fair shares? So we have six pieces of a pizza. But now we have three people, don't we? Let me move these up a little bit. And we need to share it with three people. Can we do it? So let's try it. We have these six slices of pizza. We're gonna give one to Lisa. We'll give one to Emma. And we'll give one to Tim. We'll give one to Lisa, one to Emma, 
and one to two. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's all six pieces. And they're each going to get two slices. When it was just Emma and Lisa, they each got three slices. When Tim came over, they each gave him one of their slices, so now they each have two slices. See? They each have one-third of the pizza. There's three groups, Lisa, Emma, Tim, and Lisa has one group, one part of the three groups. So she has one third. Emma has one third. Tim has one third. See? And if we put all the six pieces together, it'll make a whole pizza, won't it? So now there is no next lesson. Good job. You finished grade one math. And I'll see you for grade two math if you'd like. We're going to use a silver Burdette book. And when you go to the grade two math playlist, there'll be information in details at the beginning of the playlist. I hope I'll see you there, and I hope you have a wonderful vacation. Bye!